Ladies, ladies, ladies. Boy, this is where show just gets worse and worse. Ladies and gentlemen, it it just gets worse, worse and worse. So we're here for May fourth, twenty twenty raw review, and I cannot wait. Just like I, said, I cannot wait for NASCAR to return. May 17th, so I can actually finally review something that I'm actually enjoying. But let's get into Raw. I'm actually having something else in the title besides the review. But let's start off. Uh, like the VIP Lounge, MVP, bro, Oscar, Night Jax, fucking Chang of Basler. Or pointless segment. Pointless. And fucking Night Jax's big ass fucking fell over and broke the chair. That chair needs medical attention. It's probably hurt right now. Needs some medical attention. Nijax has hurt somebody else. She has that poor chair. Yeah, AJ Styles won the gauntlet match. I'm very... I mean, I'm happy AJ Styles returned and won the gauntlet match. But the match was terrible. Fucking Zelina Vegas, um... A trio is buried. By Humberto Carrillo. Just... I only enjoy seeing Zelina Vega on these shows. For Monday, it's Monday Night Zelina, and Friday, it's Friday Night, Friday Night Banks. Every, everything else sucks. But I'm glad AJ Styles won. He cut a promo. Pretty good promo. Seth Rollins, uh, Seth Rollins actually had to cut a pretty good promo. He's cut some good promos without the crowd. And then you have Brendan Vink and Shane Thorne defeat Ricochets, or Ricochet and Alexander, Cedric Alexander. Who, who fucking cares? Viking Raiders defeated the Street Profits. Uh, I don't Who fucking cares? I thought and Byron Saxton was dancing. Help me, sir. Help me. Help me. And he says a match people wanted to see. Yeah, we, we don't want to see that match. And Drew McIntyre had a promo. Um, Alistair Black had a pretty good promo. It looked pretty sick with the background and stuff. It looked pretty good. Rey Mysterio got a promo and whatever. And it's the most unique ladder match. Yeah, no fucking shit. It's a fucking unique ladder match. Both, both matches are happening at the same time. No fucking shit, it's a unique ladder match. Shara <sighs> got a promo, who fuck cares? She defeated Liv Morgan. It was a good match, but I would have had uh, Liv Morgan win. But... And it's, it's the queen. She's blonde with big fucking breast. And yeah, Drew McIntyre defeat Buddy Murphy. It was actually a good match. Pretty good match. Drew McIntyre getting the win. And uh, him and Seth Rollins had a face off at the end. And then Seth Rollins ran away like a little bitch. Like a fucking bitch. And then he hit Drew McIntyre with a super kick. And then went for the uh, curb stomp. But he got hit with a... But then Drew McIntyre reversed him with a fucking headbutt. And then he ran away like a bitch again. So, recapping it all. Terrible gauntlet match. And it's a un and the, we have one of the most unique ladder matches in WWE history. I'm, at least Jenna Mahal's not in it. So. And, but that's my review for uh, this Raw... Hopefully NXT. NXT looks pretty good on paper. So hopefully NXT's better than Raw. Did you have like Velveteen Dream? We're not gonna talk about the allegations. Him and Adam Cole. Uh, you know, Shirai's facing Sharp Flair. You know, uh, we know he's gonna win that match. Hopefully NXT better, is better than Raw this week. But that's all I'll say until next time. I'll call out. Fuck this shit.